I'm going to give you a quick review of micrometer. This micrometer goes to one ten thousandths of an inch. This is a two inch standard. That means this piece of metal has been cut and ground to two inches exactly. You use it to test your micrometer and this micrometer is lined up at zero zero which means it is exactly right. Now if I loosen it just a little bit the standard drops out. Now on the one ten thousandth scale which is right here there are ten graduations. Once you get to ten graduations you would have moved it that far because ten ten thousandths equals one one thousandth. Now this scale is the one thousandth scale. So if we go back here to zero, now if you want to move it one ten thousandths, you move it until these two till the one lines up with the closest line, which would be right there. Now to get two ten thousandths, you have to line up the line with the two. Right there. To get to three, you have to line up the line with the three. Right there. When you get all the way up to the end, to zero, which is right there, the ten lining up with the zero means that the one one thousandths is lined up with the zero down here. That means you've got one one thousandth or ten ten thousandths. Okay. Now to go from ten thousandths to one thousandths and the next one would be one hundredth. So ten one thousandths equals one hundredth. So if we rotate that to ten, now we've counted ten on this graduation scale in the thousandths, that to zero on this scale. So we've got ten thousandths or one one hundredth. Now if you watch, there are twenty five graduations when you get back to zero okay so if you rotate that four times 25 times 4 is 100 so now you've run it all the way to the next graduation which is a tenth of an inch so now you've got each one of these feather like marks here is worth 25 thousandths. So we've got a tenth of an inch here. We've got a hundredth of an inch here because we've got ten thousandths which is one hundredth. We've got a thousandth of an inch here because this graduation is in thousandths and we've got one ten thousandths right here because we're on one and we're lined up with the one ten thousandths. Okay? I hope I said that clear enough for you. We'll move on to Jacob now. Hi, I'm Jacob with Heavenly Machine. Today we're going to talk a little bit about micrometers and their different uses and styles. We're going to start over here at the smallest micrometer we have, which is a half inch. These are inch micrometers, inch to two, and so on. They continue all the way up. We have the multi anvil ones, some specialties, and all the way up to the 24 inch maximum micrometer. They can be used for round or flat uh, items. measure the length or width. The multi-anvil style, you change the anvils out and then recalibrate using the standards provided. There are tube thickness, tube wall thickness micrometers such as these come in very handy especially in thinner stuff when you turn a small diameter bushing or such that may warp while you're machining it you can go on the thickness of the bushing rather than its inside and outside diameters. The multi-anvils we're changing out to get into areas that are tough to get into with other style micrometers. 
inside micrometers for measuring the inside of bushings and tubes. You've got the depth style micrometers that sit on a shoulder and measure down into a small hole. And you've got the inside micrometers for measuring inside of a small or even larger diameter circles, such as the input shafts in a transmission that you might see or inside of a hydraulic cylinder. Micrometers need to be calibrated fairly often. That's why you should always get standards with any set of micrometers you buy. If you don't have a set of standards yet with your micrometers, you'll definitely want to get them and keep them calibrated. Micrometers also come in the metric style. We have another wall thickness micrometer. This is a 0 to 25 millimeter micrometer here. This is a brown and sharp. We've got them in stock here in the shop up to this Reineke which is a 200 to 225 millimeter.